Meet TensorFlow Timmy and PyTorch Peter. Timmy thinks that to break into AI, you need to memorize every theorem in every textbook ever written. He spent six months rederiving the softmax function from scratch. Once I prove the universal approximation theorem again, then I'll be ready to start my first project. PyTorch Peter? He's different. Peter pushes his code, deploys an app, then heads out for a workout, comes back to read a book, goes on a date with his girlfriend, and wraps up with a late night call with a recruiter. Peter knows the math matters, but he also knows that building real world projects is what actually gets you the job, the crazy salary, and the respect we all want. No one asked me to derive an eigenvector during my Amazon interview. They asked about my portfolio. My name is Dev, and when I was in school, I interned at Amazon making over $80 an hour. And the day I graduated, I landed a new grad offer paying over $240,000 a year. I've also helped thousands of students land their dream offer in AI engineering. Students like Shekhar, who landed an offer from AMD, or Chang, who landed an offer from Amazon. And they didn't get there by rederiving back problems propagation, or memorizing obscure formulas. They got there by building high-impact projects. And that brings me to the topic of this video, the harsh reality of AI engineering. Look, if you absolutely love the equations and the math more than anything else, AI engineering might not be a good fit for you. Instead, AI research might be a better option. And that's okay. But if you're watching this video, there's a good chance that you're like me, and you love building. You want to take an idea and turn it into a a real world solution that turns into an actual product. You want to ship code, you want to see models working in the wild. That's what AI engineering is about and it's very different from what most people think. You see most people think you need to be an absolute master of linear algebra, probability and statistics, matrix calculus before you can build any projects and my friend that could not be further from the truth. And don't get me wrong, you do need some math for AI. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say that you don't need any math for AI. That just wouldn't be true. But the truth is you need a lot less math than you think. There's only two math concepts that you need to master before you can start building amazing projects. First, matrix multiplication, and second, basic derivatives from calculus, like the derivative of x squared or the derivative of e to the x. Nothing crazy. And that's literally it. Anything else you can review later as it comes up. Those are the only two concepts that you've got to know before you start building projects. And I've even and talk to a legends like 3blue1 brown about this and he agreed he said that it's completely fine to learn on the fly what matters is that you have a dedication to actually figuring out how things work or more importantly a desire to build okay let's take a step back ai engineering is like the perfect hybrid the happy medium between pure software engineering and pure ai research you're not going to spend hours solving equations at a whiteboard that's not what ai engineering is about instead you're going be solving real world problems. You'll be building applications that make people's lives easier. You'll see the direct impact of your work and you'll be working at the intersection of code, infrastructure, and the actual models themselves. But why does this matter? Well, it's because AI engineering is exploding. According to LinkedIn's Emerging Jobs Report, AI engineering roles have seen 70% growth year after year. There genuinely could not be a better subfield of tech to go into. Fields like front-end development or web development just aren't growing as fast as AI engineering. And no hate to those subfields. I actually think they're super interesting, but they just aren't growing as fast as AI engineering. A recent report by McKinsey even predicted that by 2030, AI will contribute up to $13 trillion to the global economy. And guess what? None of that value will be created unless AI engineers are there to actually build things. You see, the raw models, they're getting better and better better every month, every year. ChatGPT, Claude, Gemini, the models are getting smarter, but on their own, they don't solve all the real world problems. They have potential, there's no doubt about that, but it takes an AI engineer to come in and turn it into an actual product. And that, my friend, is where you're going to come in. Because the top companies right now are scrambling to find AI engineers who can build on top of LLMs. They're not looking for someone who's memorized every calculus equation in a tech Textbook. They're looking for builders. And here's the part most people miss. You don't need a PhD, you don't need 10 years of experience, and you don't even need to be the smartest person in the room. What you do need is a portfolio. A portfolio that shows that you can fine-tune open source models, deploy them effectively, 
and of course explain them to engineers and other managers. That's what gets you those sweet, sweet offers. That's what got Shekhar into AMD. That's what got Chang into Amazon. And that's what's going to lead to your offer as well. If you position yourself and your portfolio the right way, you too can ride the AI engineering wave. Because here's what's coming. As LLMs get more and more advanced, remember the researchers are working on them month after month, companies are going to need more AI engineers. AI engineers who can build internal tools with LLMs, integrate LLMs into existing systems, fine-tune them for specific use cases, the list goes on. It's already happening, and the people acting right now are the ones who are gonna win. But here's the catch. You don't win by overanalyzing. You win by taking action and building. Every hour that you spend thinking over what project to build is another hour that PyTorch Peter is getting ahead and deploying yet another production ready project. Let me say that again. The market is not going to reward people who hoard knowledge. It rewards people who build. You learn the theory as you go, you learn the math as you need it, and you focus your energy on actually solving problems. Problems that future customers will actually care about. Now I get it, that can feel uncomfortable, because we've all been trained by the school system to think the opposite. Learn everything before you start. Wait until you're ready. Master all the theory first. That's garbage advice. That mindset is killing your progress, because you're never gonna feel fully ready. You're always gonna find one more concept you need to learn. Because here's the truth. The real harsh reality of AI engineering, the title of this video, is that if you're not building, you're falling behind. But it's not your fault because you've been misled with outdated advice. So stay with me because I'm about to give you an action plan. First, pick a problem you genuinely care about. Second, build a bare minimum version of the project. Third, learn what you need, when you need it, as it comes up. And fourth, polish it, deploy it, and add it to your portfolio. Do this just a couple of times and you'll be ahead of 99% of people. You'll stand out, you'll get interviews, you'll get offers. And the best part? You'll probably actually have fun during the process. This stuff should be fun. It shouldn't have to feel like a chore. Because you'll be learning by doing and solving a problem that actually feels like it matters. AI engineering is the best field to break into right now. And the best way to do that is with a strong portfolio. And if you want help building your portfolio, check out our program linked in the description. It's helped thousands Thousands of students go from confused and lost to confident and hired. We even offer a full money back guarantee. I've never seen any program like this before. And if you're still stuck copying guided tutorials on YouTube, check out this video next. It's packed with step-by-step -step strategies that will show you exactly what you need to do. I hope you found this useful and I'll see you in the next one.